So this is another band that I've heard of over the last like year and a half of doing the reaction channel. People have jumped into comments and said like, oh, you should check out Sleep Token, you know, but I think it's a metal band. You know, I know uh, you and I aren't the biggest metal, you know, fans. I don't know if that's fair to say or not. I mean, I like metal, but I wouldn't say, like, I'm a metal head. You know I, what I mean? I don't go out of my way for it. But yeah. if it's on, I'll be like, oh. Right, yeah. So I'm not sure how this is going to land with us. But I could be wrong. I don't know if this is metal or not metal or what. But the band is Sleep Token. Um, and I just picked this song at random. It seems to be one of the more popular ones. This is called Take Me Back to Eden. I know nothing about this band. Uh, Scott here knows nothing about this band. so Didn't even hear about them until... Yep. 18 seconds ago. Yep, so this is brand new for both of us. So let's check this out. It's got a very post rock beginning. Definitely has some pipes. The whole video gonna have a screensaver? Choking up brain matter and makeup Just two days since the mainframe went down And I'm still messed up Room feels like a meat freezer I dangle in like cold cuts Missed calls, answer phones from people I just don't trust Mirror talk, fake love But I'll take a pound of your flesh Before you take a piece of my paste up White roses, black doves God mother, rise up I need you to see me for what I have become Set my face 
Is that the official video for that? I believe so. Wow. Okay. So first off, quick little note here. I don't know how much music we hear fade out like that anymore. I think like back in like seventies and eighties, there was a lot more like kind of music fading out at the end. Yeah. I didn't expect that. B, I had a feeling the whole song was going to build towards something at some point. You know, like it felt like okay, we're slow, we're kind of meandering. But something's going to come in and just like fucking... And it didn't disappoint, man. That was fucking badass. To your point about the video, I'll say this. And then I'll shut the fuck up and let you talk. Is that after reacting to a lot of different music and stuff, sometimes I really appreciate when there's not that much going on in the video because it lets me focus on what's happening in the music. Sometimes the video can clutter. like It's almost like information overload it's like you're trying to pay attention to lyrics you're trying to pay attention to the music and then you have this video and there's a story going on in the video that you're trying to follow of some sort you know what i mean so it's almost like it's all too much you know but like that 
Perfect. You know, again, like as as a as a fan of like, I'm not the biggest metal guy, but as a fan of like Tool, mm -hmm. like that's right in the pocket for me. I like that shit a lot. You know, even Tool's videos, like they don't really take you too far out. You look at Tool's videos and you go like, what the fuck is happening? But like, you're still kind of like focused on the music. That's kind of how I felt about that. Now, <clears throat> the music, the music was great. I really enjoyed that. For me, the visual was way too slow. Um, I could only imagine these guys must be monsters to see live. Like Fuck yeah. I could only, but are they like Tool when they did the, you know, when they like it was like, I think it was two thousand when they toured, where they didn't have any lights on the band, everything was behind them. Yeah. Are they going to try to or do they do that sort of thing? Are I don't they know. very like, are the lights all over the place? Probably like, all of the above. Who but, knows? Yeah. Now the music was there. It's just. Had I been alone, I may have turned it off because I was just getting so bored with the visuals. Yeah. Unless I turned it on and then went and like messed off somewhere else. Right. And had it in the background. Right. Yeah. But to for me, I don't I don't know. Maybe it's ADHD or something. Or <laughs> I just like it was. You know what else, dude? Like I, I don't know what the rest of their videos are like. I mean, I guess we could investigate a little bit here, but um, but I I appreciate a little mystery. And in some of the music too, like I have no idea what the band looks like, what their stage show is like, or anything mm -hmm. based on that. I know there's like an imagery that came along with that sort of angel of the death kind of uh, figurine that we were kind of panning around and zooming into and stuff. And there was a lot of little subtle subtlety going on, you know, with like roots growing or blood or whatever that may have been, and then some water filling up. It was all very cool, but it left a lot of mystery for the band. Like I don't know who they are, what they look like. What they what they're like live. And we don't know where they're from or anything like that. N nope, dude. I just know that people said check out Sleep Token. So there you have it. The d the guy definitely has pipes, and the oh, band yeah. is the the band is very very talented. Yeah. Like, oh hell yeah, man. But like for me, and this is just a personal mm. opinion. That just the video was just yeah, you know, really boring. And it, and it, I don't know, maybe they wanted it that way because there was so much going with the music, but yet visually I was really bored. But Oracle, it was you. very like. Yeah, I get you. That song scratched an itch for me. I think I, I definitely want to check out more from Sleep Token. For fucking sure. All right, good one. Cool. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't record it. Shit.